A drop cap can add some emphasis and interest to the start of your paragraph. Let's create one together in Adobe InDesign. Before we get started, if you're looking for display fonts, graphics, or other professional assets, check out Envato Elements. There's thousands of fonts to choose from, and you get unlimited access to all of them, the whole library, for one low fee. And that includes templates, stock photos, music, and more, too. Check out the description for more info. Now let's turn to Adobe InDesign. I'm in a new document and I have a sample paragraph here. Open up the paragraph panel by going to Window, Type in Tables, Paragraph. Now let's zoom in on the start of our paragraph. Then we can use the Type tool to select the first letter. Let's turn to the paragraph panel and edit the drop cap number of lines value right here. I'm going to go with a value of 10, but you could go with any value you prefer. This creates a basic drop cap for us, but I'd like to push it further. Let's change up the font. To do so, we'll need to open up the Character panel. Go to Window, Type in Tables, Character to open it up. With the drop cap still selected, I can choose a new font here in this drop-down menu. I went with Grant Mouth, a display font you can download on Envato Elements. Next, let's change the font color. Looking at the Tools panel, we need to make sure Formatting Effects text is selected here. This way, the stroke and fill color affect the text and not the box itself. I'll click on the fill color here and choose a light green color. Next, let's make some more adjustments in the Character panel. I'm going to move the baseline shift here to 50 points. Let's adjust the tracking, too. 40 points further moves the letter away from the rest of the text. We can also scale this letter here, but be sparing with this option. I'm going to adjust the width here to 120%. So things are looking pretty good, but the bottom paragraphs aren't aligned quite like how I'd like them. Let's select those paragraphs with the Type tool, and then turn to the Paragraph panel. Here we can adjust the left indent, I went with 0.5 points here to better align it to match the drop cap. But let's dress things up here a little more. I'm going to import some imagery by going to File, Place. All I have to do is select my image, and then I'll click and drag to place it here in my document. Let's resize this image. I'm holding down Control while clicking and dragging on the resize handles. I can also crop part of the image by adjusting the rectangle frame holding it. Click and drag on the resize handles, this time without holding control. I'm going to repeat this process to add even more images to my layout. Here's the final result. Isn't it pretty? You could do a lot more here too, but our drop cap is looking pretty decorative, eye-catching, and elegant. So what kind of drop cap design would you try? There's so many possibilities. If you're looking for font inspiration, remember to check out Envato Elements. There's so many awesome display fonts, monogram fonts, and decorative fonts over there to download. With unlimited access to the whole library, you can try them all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video, and check out our channel for more tips, tutorials, and other fun content. Thanks for watching!